All right, we're gonna head on in. Here's the front, that's a faux dormer up top. You've got your walkway to the covered front entryway. And we'll head on in. You've got your transom above and your side lights on either side. So it's a beautiful doorway and your three quarter glass front door. And let's head on in. You got your engineered hardwoods. This is a, a high level engineered hardwood, beautiful. And this is the foyer entryway. So let me try to capture that as best I can. Nice, spacious entryway. And then you can see the living room and into the, uh, the sunroom. They've enclosed the covered porch with a patio on the back and the lake behind that. So this isn't quite clear enough, but it really pulls you all the way through to the lake in the back. And that's a beautiful view. You'll see it better, but if you were here in person, you would feel that and how pretty that is. So, but you can't do it on this. This focuses on the furniture in the front, rather. It's all vaulted ceilings, we'll see that in a minute. Okay, and a coat closet to the left. And immediately to the left is a little linen closet and a walkway foyer into the uh, two guest bedrooms. Okay, we'll start with the one in the front. Guest bedroom here. Oh, they've got plantation shutters, quite nice. These are nine foot ceilings, six and a half, six foot, eight doors. And you have a double closet with your sliders. And I like the doors, they're very pretty. The way they have the like bead and bat and board and bat and look a little bit. And it could go either way, traditional or beachy. You've got your tile floors. You've got nice cabinets, white cabinets in your cultured marble countertop and your elongated and elevated comfort level uh, toilet and transom above the shower. Okay, then this is your little linen closet here between the two guest bedrooms. And then you have carpet and carpet. It's like a Berber carpet. It's a very nice high-end carpet. And this is a queen bed, but you can see a king bed can fit in here. There's tons of room. It's a nice size. And then you have the same type of closet space over here as well. And some people may use this as an office. You could do a variety of different things. I've seen all kinds of things. We could talk about that later if you're interested in use of the space. Now let's head back into the foyer. Here's the front door. So you can see that from the guest bedroom doorway and then we'll head on in and the ceiling vaults right from the, the foyer entryway so you have this feeling of spaciousness quite nice they put a custom paint on this back wall here okay, for their preference there a lot of people may paint it a lighter color to make it feel a little brighter uh, you can see how big the living room is to give you an idea from the front of this, from the front of the TV area. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's about 18 feet back just behind the sofa table and the length of this room. And you have the dimensions. Uh, I have them available to you. Two, three, four, five, six. And it's about 27 feet from the front wall where the clock is to this back wall. Because this is air conditioned sunroom here, they've got a, a mini split system up in the roof there. They can leave this open all the time. It's air conditioned and cooled, it's tile. You know, casual feel, sunroom feel, double slider. You've got your nice sliding windows looking out over the view. And we'll look at that in just a bit. But coming back to the living room and looking back towards the front door, you can see how pretty that is. Now, hopefully you can get a feel for the spaciousness of the vaulted ceiling. The recessed can lights, a ceiling fan, and utility room, 
over there, which the door would normally be closed probably, but in order to do this video, I want the doors to be open. And you have an office that could be an extra bedroom. So you could actually even make this four bedrooms. They've got this set up as an office and that sofa may pull out into a couch and into a bed. No, it's, it's not, they don't need that, but you could do that. I've seen a variety of different uses of this room. You've got your double French doors here, nice ceiling fan and light, and this is your formal dining room. So you have a formal dining room with the tray ceiling. They've used the same uh, color paint on this wall with the double window, five foot windows, as on this side, so it bounces it out really nicely. And in the office area, you have that, that deep, rich, dark blue, which is quite elegant. You can see the bar counter with three bar stools there in the sink overlooking the living room area. And it, you know, feel free to freeze the picture anywhere and look in a little better if you want. That leads into the kitchen. And now we'll go check out the kitchen area. You've got this nice uh, countertop across here and you have a center island with a couple little bar stools. You've got, they have electric uh, range here. That's preference because usually it would be uh, gas and you could put gas in here. You've got your nice uh, you know, cabinets that are all white with the crown moldings above. They put their microwave over here, which is unique. Usually it's right above here, but they've got the vent. They prefer to just have the vent there and it makes the microwave just a couple inches lower, which is nice. Then your pantry, it's a double pantry back here. So you can store a lot of stuff, it's quite wide and fully racked, ready to go. You've got the bay window and again, you have your plantation shutters, which was really nice. And this overlooks the golf and the view in the back. And we'll look at that again, a little closer. It's a par three, number six hole on the Tommy Fazio Championship Golf Course. I'll give you an idea here at stainless steel appliances, nice refrigerator, granite countertops, more storage underneath here. Let's check the drawers or the cabinets. Yep, you have a slider there, slider there. On these cabinets, you have sliders on the lowest level. You could add a second level if you wanted to in the middle, but all of these have the sliders so far. They're not soft clothes, they're just standard. Slider there, slider there, and underneath the sink, here's a little tray holder and your dishwasher KitchenAid. And one single sink bowl with a disposable. And it really has a great look. So you could be preparing and watching TV, talking to your guest either way, out here on the porch. And that's a beautiful tile out here. This is really, really well done with hardy board siding, you can see that there because this was the covered porch and they planned on doing that. They've got a really nice backsplash underneath the counters. I don't see any under counter lights there, but you can turn a light on over the range, I'm sure. Like I said, if you want natural gas there, you could do that. These typically have gas furnaces as well. So very spacious as I circle all the way around here. And this is a vaulted, you can kind of get a sense there of the vaultedness. Nice arched entry into the dining area which is carried over in the front, going into the guest bedrooms and into the primary bedroom in the back here. So a little foyer entryway into the primary bedroom. This has a big bay window as well with again, the beautiful shutters, plantation shutters. That's a queen bed, but you can see a king bed fits right in between there and there's still tons of room. They have a dresser over here our Chester drawers and the dresser up front. 
So you've got a lot of space here to do things with. And the big tray ceiling, one foot tray ceiling and your ceiling fan. Again, it's a, a really nice Berber carpet. Then the, the master bath has the white cabinets, has the double sink bowls, big mirror, two different lights leading back into the closet. But this is a highlight from the plan that you might get if you want to see the floor plan. The shower would normally be five feet and then there'd be open space where the end of the shower is. But they, uh, and a lot of people chose to go with the European shower. A big walk-in shower, no door, plenty of space to put things on, soap dishes, recessed and double transom. And then you got a little seat there if you need it. And that's really nice. Some people might put glass on the top half, but this is a little warmer, I think, and a little nicer and a little more private. And then you have your built-ins on this big walk-in closet that really goes all the way around. I don't know if I can capture it very well. And here it is double racked, but they obviously had a custom uh, cabinetry company come in here and build, build this. Very well done. Plenty of storage. Okay, over to the left is the water closet. So that's your toilet. That's elongated and elevated comfort level toilet in the water closet. And then the linen closet right across from there. So that's kind of tucked in to that corner there. So let's go back and uh, check it out. And then I'll show you the back view.